Hi, I am Sasha Snow here with Ask Hyperdrive number three. Over the past month, our camera's been in repairs, so we kind of slowed down, but we got it back and we're ready to get back in the full production. We have a new web series in the works. We're almost finished writing it and we're going to start shooting it really soon. So stay tuned here for more information. And now on to our question segment. We have a question from Nadir. He asked, what do we miss the most about Austin and TSTV? I miss the food in Austin really bad. I miss taco trucks. I miss Barton Springs. Oh my gosh, I miss riding my bike everywhere. It's kind of scary to ride your bike here. Uh, and TSTV, I miss um, all the great parties, but I mean, basically, all my amazing TSTV friends are already out here with me. What don't I miss about Austin, Texas? Uh, my dogs live there with my parents. I miss petting those tummies. The food scene in Austin, the Salt Lick, uh, Magnolias, Dan's Hamburgers, uh, Home Slice Pizza, Gordo's, oh my god, Torchy's Tacos. I feel like when I think of Austin, I just think of food and my dogs, and so. Oh man, TSTV, I miss, uh, I miss making it. I miss making shows on TSTV, contributing. It's it's very great experience when you can go and just join what feels right and contribute to something that'll actually air on TV, and seeing yourself, it's really motivational to see uh, how you can progress. I miss the music scene. Um, I mean, there's a great music scene here, but it's nice to be able to just ping pong down bars on 6th Street and get to hear a ton of different genres of music. I definitely miss all my friends, my family. Um, it's difficult coming out here and not really knowing anybody, but that's part of the experience too. <laughs> I definitely miss being a student. This whole real life thing is hard. I definitely miss uh, doing VGHL every week. It was, uh, it was a ton of fun. Um, got to be nerdy on TV, which that's always a blast. Uh, I surprised, despite the lack of sleep, I missed 24/7. Um, that the last two years that I went to that were were great. It was great to see your work come to life on um, on TV. Let's see. The thing I miss most about Austin, Texas, is breakfast tacos. Uh, I should have said my friends first. I sound like a wiener. Uh, <laughs> I miss breakfast tacos and uh, and my friends pretty pretty equally. I also miss uh, drink specials and uh, you could go out for a night with your friends and spend less than 25 bucks and have a great long night. I miss that. I miss the Longhorns. I miss going to football games. I miss going to good football games. So. Ooh, what do I miss most about TSTV? The people. I miss sitting in the war room uh, between classes and catching up with everybody. And I miss last minute crazy scrambling to get things done and helping out on other shows and coming up with really fun, stupid, silly ideas. I miss the mornings at 3 a.m. when you're sitting there scrambling to get a project done and everyone is in the same boat and, and everyone is super supportive and helpful. And uh, I miss the vending machine uh, in the bottom that never gave me the drink that I wanted. And I miss the elevator that took three minutes to catch. The building is three stories tall. What do I miss most about Austin, Texas? I miss barbecue. I miss, um, yeah, mostly barbecue. What do I miss most about TV, TSTV? Well, kind of uh, going along with what do I miss about TSTV? It's kind of this college in general. I kind of miss not having to worry about anything or care about anything and just being able to go to a TV station and make television for fun and not worry about making money or losing money and just making TV with friends and playing games. That's what I miss. What do I miss about Austin? I miss the food. You can get barbecue just about anywhere. You can get breakfast tacos just about anywhere. Kirby Lane. Kirby Lane is like the go-to hangout if you go to UT. If you're coming home from a party and it's 3 in the morning, you go to Kirby Lane because they're always open. What do I miss about TSTV? I miss these shirts. I miss seeing my friends every day because when everybody works at TSTV and most of my friends from college are from TSTV, uh, you pretty much see 
a lot of friends every day if they're on staff if they just worked on specific shows at least once or twice a week guaranteed um without having to go far from home and then like i said here it you know everybody lives farther away from each other la is a big city so i don't see people as frequently as i used to I miss being station manager i miss having an office i miss getting to boss people around uh not like do what i tell you to boss but just having a plan and being able to see it implemented through an entire organization. Oh, you know what I miss? I miss uh, getting into conventions and press events for free because I was with the press. That was fun. I'm working on I should do that. I should do that again. Yes, I miss Austin. Austin is my favorite city in the world. Um, I mostly miss a lot of the food places. Um, <laughs> I miss one in a million and hot daddies and just we, just vu, just something. I don't know, they had really good French toast. It was fantastic. I miss torchies, I miss Kirby queso, I miss breakfast tacos, because breakfast tacos is not a thing here in California. <sighs> it breaks my heart. Well, I don't quite miss TCB as much as I missed Austin. Um, I don't really miss the responsibility of having to put on a show. <laughs> I don't have to be a producer anymore, yay! Because that was painful, like having to do like classes and then run that and do all the other stuff I was doing, like, because I did too much. I did way too much, like, because I'm crazy like that. I do miss the, the war room where I would like sit and like eat and sleep sometimes. I would just hide over there. I miss sneaking into like Steven's room or in his little office and then I think at one time he had like pretzels these little pretzels with like peanut butter in them I sold all of them that was the best when Steven was like station manager that meant I could come into his office and like stay on his couch and just like work while he was in there or while he wasn't in there um, if the door was open that was fantastic I do miss the people though I think that's what I miss the most I think I miss all the TSTV years and I think I miss all of my Austin friends like, man, do I miss them. Luckily, a lot of them are already out here in California. So there's like Steven and Ryan and everybody else in Hyperdrive. And then there's also like people that I know, which is awesome. So I've got like a nice little like knit group of people. What I miss most about Austin, Texas is um, probably college or what I miss most about college, which is, um, you know, being a part of the uh, the college crowd, of course, I miss the city for its culture, its restaurants, its music, and everything. Definitely want to get back there someday soon. Definitely miss all the people at CSTV. I've definitely made some of my most lasting friendships of my life there, uh, including a lot of the people that I still hang out with here. It was also super fun just to uh, work on the content that we produced every week and to be on television in some minor capacity. Now Andy asks, how come my grandchildren never visit me? It's because the facial hair. This. Colonel Pepper asks, how do we come up with our sketch ideas? I think Stephen can really answer that. We usually just come up with ideas while we're talking. Like usually we'll just be sitting around our couch hanging out. Uh, someone says something funny. And I'll say, hey, that's a great idea. And I'll just jot it down. And Danny from the Short Stack channel asks, Hyperdrive, how are all of you? All of you? Well, I couldn't speak for everybody else. Uh, me personally, I'm okay. Oh, I'm doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. Been having some trouble sleeping recently. Uh, been having a lot of zombie apocalypse dreams uh, which is which is weird I'm not even like the main character in them I'm just like doing regular stuff like but there's a zombie apocalypse I'm doing it horribly I just turned 25 years old I'm having a quarter life crisis although it's more like a third life crisis because with my current health pattern I'm gonna die by the time I'm 75 if I'm lucky I'm really hungry uh, I haven't eaten in 24 hours 
I uh, I feel like I'm starting to be a little emaciated, you know, can you see, like there's a hollow in the cheeks, there's a hollow in the eyes, um, there's crow's feet forming, I've got wrinkles which I'm not liking at all here, um, definitely not good for an on camera sort of personality. I'm not doing great, I'm not doing great. I had a dream that I was just trying to make dinner but I didn't have any pepper but there was like a zombie apocalypse happening like around my house so that was just like a thing that was happening in the background so that's been bothering me like I don't know what that means I have no idea where I am I'm very tired I need sleep maybe my subconscious is trying to tell me like hey like like you need to pay attention to the world around you, you know what I mean? Like stop and like smell the zombies or whatever. How am I doing? So yeah, but I mean apart from that, yeah, I've been pretty good. Pretty good. Okay. Um, thanks for joining us with another Ask Hyperdrive. We come out with videos every Wednesday and Saturday. Please make sure to subscribe, go like our channel, comment, ask us another question, and also check out our podcast. We look forward to seeing you guys Saturday. And punch it.